What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about Python. Python is a coding language and it's a very easy one too. You can make your own apps, games and everything. So let's jump right into it but before we start make sure to like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends and click the bell like this to stay notified with my latest videos. Bye! So now we are in the Python app. One of the easiest line of Python is print. This is one of the easiest functions. Print. And like you saw over here, print. It, you can put values, set, and file, flush, we're going to learn all of that, but in another video. So print, let's write print, hello world, oh, sorry, print hello. So the reason why we have these parentheses is because that is where we are because you have to always put parentheses when you when you're done with a function always and now we put in the parentheses hello this is where you put some functions that you want to change of no this is where you actually can put values and multiple things that change the print that change the the function before these two parentheses and the reason why we put to quote and word inside, letters inside, sorry, is because if we had removed these quotes, it would say error because you have to put these double quotes or just one quote like that. It has to be each side same quotes, but it's a string. That's why it says the mistake with a string you always have quotes one quote double quotes no problem after we are going to try and make a variable a variable is this like let's say k equals 20 20 it means that This is a variable, so it means that k is the name of the variable and 20 is the value of the variable. It can also not only be the variable, it can be like LOLP. No, sorry, like it can also be this. It can also be lop. And we could do the same thing. Look, if we put k in here, it will put lop. This thing. Sorry. We're obviously, we we just remove the quotes. That's how it works. It's already a variable. Wait, I think we have a mistake for the variable. Yeah, the only mistake is was Book, because we had defined after the function that we were going to put the variable inside. So we have to always put it before, like anywhere before the actual function where you put the variable, because it's not going to load directly. Now it puts lock. And also we can do a value, like I said, like let's do, for example, O equals 30 and big equals a thousand. Oh, sorry, a thousand. The computer doesn't understand like that. We don't put these. I don't think so anyway. 
But uh, this is what we're going to be putting. The value of this variable named big is 1000. So now we'll do one more thing. We'll learn conditions. Not all of the conditions, but if and else. It's like in our language. If something is greater or smaller or equals or equals this, sorry, equals this, it doesn't equal. There's a lot of things. But we are going to be focusing on these two. So if O is greater than big, it will say printer O is her okay. And now, if we will put a else, by the way, the reason why I'm putting these two dots, the columns, because you always put that at the end of, of a condition. Okay. And you always have to put a little bit of space if you want to connect it with the if. And if you don't put something in the if, it will say mistake, error. We have to view these spaces. And after for else, we're going to do if big, no, sorry, if O is, is greater than O is better, uh, uh, is um, greater than big, sorry, it will print O is better. But if, sorry, else, it's like if it is not, it will say, it will print, yes. Big is better. So, and now if we run the code, right click after we click run, this is what is going to happen. Lop, because we said k equals lop, and we said print k, that makes lop. And after we go to if o is greater than big, it says o is better, but that's not true. Big is bigger than o value, so it's going to print big is better. And here it is, big is better. So I hope you guys understood this video. And be sure to like and subscribe, share with your friends, and click the bell. And see you soon.